Radical grape. It's radical and filled with sugar. What's not to love? Warning, if your taste buds explode, we are not to blame. Please refrain from drinking any other drink for 24 hours and do not operate heavy machinery. May cause temporary loss of taste or sudden awesomeness without warning. Drink is not actually purple and may cause you to hallucinate random colors at any given time. Radical grape makes your taste buds feel shockingly radical. Cool at home, work, and school. On a scale of 1 to 10, they're an 8. You would like to get the coating to make your glasses work? Only $29.99. Order yours today. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Who's cool? We are. Who's cool? We are. Amira. Amira, brown hair with red, loves to gossip and fill kids with dread. Brian. Brian, the logicator, loves to break up fights and dab on the haters. Jacob. Jacob, the leader of them all, loves to be bossy and make them feel small. Rose. Rose, the coolest of cool. Her hair is so bright, it will blind you. Who's cool? We are. Who's cool? We are. Yeah. Yeah. I am so much better than you, Jacob. Your ego is so gigantic. It has stretch marks. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll have you to know that I'm the coolest, most popular kid in the neighborhood. I think that ponytail's too tight. It's cutting off the circulation to your brain. <laughs> Right. You may have tons of friends, but that is only because they are terrified of you. Guys, can't you just be chill? Why are y'all acting so superior? You don't even own a pair of aviators. If this was some sort of superiority contest, I would obviously be in first place. And I'm older than all y'all. Rose, this isn't about you. But to be fair, it isn't about a mirror or me either, so. <laughs> hey guys, instead of arguing about who is better than who, shouldn't we be getting ready for the movie that starts in a half an hour? Oh my God, I was so busy being superior. I forgot all about the movie. Come on, the movie starts in five minutes. OMG, where are my aviators? I can't go to a movie without my aviators. Can't See the movie with your aviators on, weirdo. It's a movie in 3D. Got it? Where is my jacket? It's obviously going to be mega cold movie called Media Invasion. Are you ready? Uh, no, I'm in the bathroom. Give me two minutes. We don't have two minutes. We'll just be there. Take one step out of that door and all of you will be banned from the club for life. Kids were on their way to a movie called Meteor Invasion, but little do they know that there was actually going to be one. When the lights went dim, the explosion happened. It broke out all the lights and struck all the teenagers with a superior attitude. Ah, the lights coming back on. The movie's over. This is beyond strange. What just happened? Let's get out of here. Hey guys, look. The explosion doesn't happen because of my awesomeness. First of all, who gave you permission to talk to us? And second of all, durable lights just cracking like that is not likely. I gave myself permission to talk to you because I'm not that nerd I once was. Whoa, what up, party people? That movie looked like it really happened. Uh, well, maybe it did. Uh, that's why everybody is acting cooler than everybody else. I mean, we're not the coolest anymore. What do we do now, gang? I don't know. I guess, I guess we hang up our leather jackets and just become friends. Okay. 
sounds like a plan, I guess. Or whatever. For the kids decided there was nothing special about them anymore. Come on, Jay. My dad's been trying to get me to take skateboarding lessons. Let's try it. Sure. I got nothing better to do. So the boys tried their hands at skateboarding and the girls painted their nails and talked about how much Twitter Xavier was. I think they were learning to be normal. It only took them forever. You know, God knew that that explosion was going to happen. I think it was like his plan to make us see that normal's the way we should be. Wow. I never thought of it that way. It's pretty cool. You think we went from cool to schooled because God decided we needed normal people in the world? Yeah, I do. Did you notice how everybody in the world turned cool and we turned, well, normal? Whoa. I guess being cool means nothing if there are no normal people in the world. I agree. Agreed. I agree. Team, no matter what happens, you all are cool in my eyes. No, thanks, Samira. She's right, guys. We're family. Whether we're cool or not. Oh my goodness! Oh, I am toast! Oh. That means a lot, Ryan. By the way, guys, I want us to say sorry for how I acted when we were cool. I know I shouldn't have bossed you guys around like that. It's cool, bud. No worries, man. It's all cool. You meant well and wanted to be in control of something. We understand. Hey, guys. Want to go get ice cream? It's on me. Uh, don't kill me, but what if I happen to know how the explosion happened and who triggered it? Then I say spill it. Uh, okay. My dad happened to trigger the explosion at the lab, trying to create a formula to make dogs talk the other day. I am going to kill you. Ryan Francis Amiibo the third. You take it. I can see you're a little tense right now, so I'm just gonna give you a little personal space. Hey Ryan, I was going to wash your jacket, but I can't seem to find it. Do you know where it is? Dad, there's no need to wash it. The gang and I aren't cool anymore. Wait, what do you mean you're not cool anymore? Well, after the explosion that you caused. Uh, we have become ordinary people because everybody else who went to the movie became cool and now we are no longer our unique selves. Oh my goodness, I did that? I was wondering why the explosion hadn't broken anything here in the lab. I'm so sorry, son. Who cares? It's fine. I mean, it would be fine if Jacob wasn't trying to annihilate me now. It's no fair. The explosion only gave him super strength and not any of us. Well, that makes me even more concerned that he's after me. Well, I guess I'll call him Fred. Who's Fred? My bodyguard. Seems like you'll need him more than I do. Fred, come in here. What up, boss? I was just about to hit the showers. I need you to quit working for me. Look, my son needs you a lot more than I do at the moment. 
I need you to be his bodyguard instead of mine right now. Oh, oh. I you're firing me. I understand. Jacob is going psycho right now. It's all over the news. Wait, when did he get super strength? About the time the theater went kaboom. Oh, man. I've accidentally created a monster. I'm so stupid. Excuse me? Nothing. I thought so. Dad, someone or something added to the security systems and all our defenses are down. I bet it's Jacob. Fred, you get Ryan down to the secret security bunker. I will deal with him. But sir, you have the strength of power to go up against him alone. You need me to help you survive. I am going to protect my son at all costs. I am not going to sit there helplessly and watch my son die. I already lost his mother. Ryan is the only thing I have left. Now go. Red, you have to let me up there. No, can't do little buddy. Remember, my dad said you work for me now. I think it was pretty clear when he did not want to lose you. And if I let you go up there now, I can lose my job. And I like my job. But despite Fred's warning, he went up there anyway. Jacob, we do not have to fight. Oh, but we do. Your father was responsible for this catastrophe and I intend to make you both suffer because of it. Is this what Jesus would do? No, but I will have fun watching you suffer. You cost me everything. <laughs> Please, you're like my brother. Please, God, forgive him. He is my best friend. I thought you cared for me. I did. Then let's be rational. The time to be rational is over. I don't want to fight you, man. I love you. I love you too. And they lived happily ever after as the guys embraced their found identities and the girls kept the guys in check. As we conclude, think about this. Do you wanna be cool or schooled? Hey, let's introduce the actors. We have Ivy Hicks as Amir and the narrator. Yay. We have Ash Morgan Hutchison as Ryan. We have William Hutchison as Robert. <laughs> we have Antonio Sellers as Fred and Xavier. We have Kristen Stefanski as Rose, and I am Marquita Celia again, and I play the role of Jacob, and I am the director of this piece. Thank you guys so much for coming out and being a part of this production, and let, without further ado, let me introduce you to the artist, the creator of Ziawa, Alexa. Yay! <laughs> Great job, Alexa. Thank you so much for creating these words for us to bring to life. Thank you so much for being one of TMD's junior producers. Um, if you guys stick around for a little while, we are gonna do a quick little Q&A section. So if you have any questions for our creative writer, if you have any questions for the actors, or if you have any questions for me, um, you can go ahead and ask away. We are open in the floor to all questions, comments because we're also trying to also grow Alexa as an artist. So any feedback that you have, let's hear it. 
from Trinity. It says, let's, let's open up this comment section. Okay. Yay. So we got a couple of things going on here. Vicki Locke said, great job. Congratulations, Alexa. Dana Hall said, wonderful work. Yay, Jackie gave us the hands up. Yes. <laughs> Let's see, Jamie said, great job and congrats. Very cool from Dana also said as well. We had fantastic job, everyone from Jamie. Trinity said, great job and wonderful. It was fire, <laughs> fire emojis all around. <laughs> from Dara, Devin and Mama Red, we have um, question is, if you can make the play longer or into a series, will the other kids get powers as well, Alexa? Yes. <laughs> yes. So if you had, okay, I got a question. If you had to pick the powers, I know that Jacob got super strength. Yes, always. But what did you see the other characters getting? Like one of the, like Rose was going to have like ice breath and Ryan was going to end up getting laser eyes and trying to one up Jacob. I was like, that would definitely make our fight <laughs> a lot different. <laughs> and what about a mirror? Well, it's okay. It's a work in progress. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool beans. Amy says, so cool. You're so talented. Thanks for inviting us. Aaron said, very creative, Alexa. Great job. We have another question from Jackie. So wonderful job, everyone. Do you plan on ever doing this play live? That would be great. Um, I'm gonna answer that from a producer standpoint. And you know, um, it would be great to be able to do it live, um, finding the space and things to actually like put it on stage because with Zoom theater, it makes it so different from us being all in different locations that that connection you usually get with live theater is a little bit different. And it takes a little extra work to like, you know, bring that camaraderie together as actors on stage. But when you're on stage, you're able to play around a little bit more. The fight sequence will definitely be a little bit more intense. Instead of sound effects, you'll actually get a little bit of stage combat, which I absolutely love. So um, it would definitely be great to put it on its feet and like put it on stage. And, you know, you actors will be available for that. <laughs> Always willing to work with you. <laughs> so we have, um, oh, question for the actors. Um, how is it performing as children? Fun, easy, difficult? Don't all answer at once. <laughs> Please. I, think, yeah. I was like, I love one of them. I think it's hard. I think it's harder. I think it's hard because it's like you have kids are very like honest with like how they feel about like how they react to things. So you know, you have to kind of be as an adult, have to like take off that filter and be like, I'm this child who just expressing and emoting by circumstances. So I constantly have to be that and like not look like immature. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. But it's fun playing with it. I, I, think, I think, can you hear me? Am I unmuted? Okay. I think for me, it's like 50-50 because I feel like since they're kind of teenagery, it's like I forget because I'm so far removed from being a teenager how, how different my mentality was back then. And so like I can look at it and since I work with teens all the time, I can look at it and understand like the thought process and everything, but trying to take yourself to that point like as an adult is awkward sometimes because you feel like I know I've done this before but I'm not really proud of the fact that I've acted this way before so I don't want to do it again and it can, it can be cathartic but it's also like awkward if that makes any sense like yeah for me it was really fun because I I'm only 21 so I was a teenager only a few years ago so it was really fun to get into a character like Amira where she's just really sassy and she kind of just says what she wants. And I feel like I really resonate with that. 17 year old Abby just said what she wants. So I <laughs> thought it was really fun to play with that character and to get to see that side of myself again. 
yeah i just i also thought it was fun um because like just to be mean like i was like you know the mean girl i was like oh this is fun to, to just play that kind of character so i i think it's fun and you can also be bigger with your reactions because like um antonio was saying you know because you can just be like oh you know because everything's very much more dramatic it's life ending that i don't uh that that i'm no longer cool that's that's life ending <laughs> and you know um everyone being the cool kid when you're younger is just what everyone aspires to you know um and i think that's one of the things i liked about these characters is like coming to understanding that cool is what you make it essentially you know and that you have to be okay with and flexible when those things change you know and even though like amira said you know we might not be cool anymore but we're still all friends and that's cool super cool that you still have a friend group that you can resonate with you know so i think that was pretty pretty dope um another question we have from donna is um alexa good use of authentic language what was your motivation for writing this piece mostly that i want to have a thing that kind of coincided with teenagers and how much God is the answer to everything. Definitely, um, you know, especially with the way the world is right now, it's a lot of, you know, making sure that you're spiritually inclined, you know, whatever that looks like for you. And just like knowing that you have to have that connection with God, you know, so. I think that was a good good message. We got that across. I think we did, we did, we did that. <laughs> um, we also have from Jackie, will you be performing this show via Zoom again? Um, it would be great if we can, you know, do it again. If Alexa, you know, whatever, want anyone, you know, see it on a different variation or a different iteration of it, if that would totally be up to her and it's her words and her work. So, you know, we would definitely have that discussion. Um, and, you know, I know Jackie loves Zoom theater. Jackie is an amazing, 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 amazing artist and has done so much Zoom theater. She actually is one of the people who got me interested in Zoom theater. She's super talented. Um, I want to pronounce this correctly. Um, Jayo Theater is her theater company. Um, and you can definitely look that up on Facebook and follow her and see some of the amazing work that she puts out. It's She's always got something going. So, you know, um, look into her amazing, amazing, amazing artist. Um, let's see, Tanya said, great job, everyone. Very creative, Alexa. I'm thankful to be able to view from Montana. Ooh, woo, woo, Montana. Um, thank you for the invite. And if you do live ones, I appreciate the live stream option. Um, we did record this. So if you, want to see it again or if you know someone who didn't get a chance to see it today it will be on all of our social media platforms you can definitely you know follow us on facebook instagram twitter <laughs> youtube um all of our short films and other productions that we put up and our other junior producer productions are also up there so you know check us out see as you do um this is a thing for Alex as well as you develop the characters and their powers I love to see deeper into their motivations. A great start to the process. Heart, love it. And that was from Georgian or Georgina. Um, sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. Let's see. Um, Rachel had another question um, for the actors. As an adult, how important is it that you're cool? <laughs> I'm gonna answer this one first. Sorry, guys. Um, you know, I have been coming more in these last few years into my own and understanding like who Marquita Celia is, you know, and um, being okay with knowing that you're not always going to be like, being okay with knowing that you're not always going to be chosen, you know, being okay with and accepting that you have to find yourself cool first, you know, you have to be able to look at yourself and be like, I love me I'm awesome you know and it's nothing conceited about it it's just having that confidence within yourself pushes you a long way and when you know your worth 
and you know who your work comes from, it makes it so much easier in your adult years to be able to be like, okay, you know what? We can agree to disagree. No love lost. You be blessed and let's keep it moving. You know, so does anyone else want to answer that question? I think, I mean, I agree with what you said. I think it's kind of like an ongoing battle. I don't know if it's necessarily like as an adult, if you define it as cool, as much as it's like the battle of like, coming in, like coming into who you are and understanding who you are and like becoming comfortable with living your own truth and whatever that looks like for you and whatever that means for you and realizing that that may your truth may rub someone else the wrong way and not because that of anything that you're doing wrong but because maybe they're not comfortable living in their own truth and so them seeing you live in your own makes them uncomfortable because it's something they want and they don't know how to express that yet and we all mature at a different pace we all go through different life experiences at a different time um, life, I see it all the time. And I say this a lot in my own life, like you're never late in your own journey and everyone's journey is different and looks different for every person. And I think that as an adult, I don't think the word necessarily would be cool, but like, I feel like we all struggle and we can all, even as adults at whatever age we are relate to the concept of wanting to just have a place where you belong and wanting that group of people that, and it's not really being the cool kid as an adult. It's just like finding your people finding those people that resonate with your soul that you can grow with and lean on and walk through life with. And that becomes your like pod and your group. And if you don't have that, or you're still trying to figure out what that looks like for you, then you may, those feelings that these, that these teenagers felt are things that we as adults still feel at different points in our life. We just define it differently. Good job, Ashley. That was a great answer to that question. Thank you. <laughs> All right, um, so Jackie has another question. Um, if you could play another, this is for the actors as well. If you could play another character in the show, who would you want to play? I think I would honestly love to play Frank because I just think he's hilarious. And I'd love to have that muscle t-shirt on just going. I think I would rock that to be honest. I think, I role. <laughs> I think that'd be so much fun. I was going to say the same thing. I was like, I would, I would like to try to play Amara, Amara so I could be a sassy. <laughs> Y'all two spirit animals. Y'all so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'd be like such a like sassy, like, like quick with it. Like, like, just like my mouth would be off the hook. <laughs> I, would, I would enjoy every minute of it. I would enjoy it so much. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with Amira. I would, I like, I just feel Frank is you the got- ultimate muscle bro. Like, <laughs> we all love that character though. Yes. Like, when, when the first day in rehearsal, when Antonio came on and was like kissing his muscles, I almost fell out of my chair. Like, we were all dying. That's like the best, the most hilariously written part of the whole show. That is <laughs> so <laughs> funny. <laughs> It was, it was, we were all like, man, we want that. Can we just do it with you? Like, <laughs> we're all going to do it together. We're not a cool kids. Let's go. <laughs> um, let's see. Donna said her kids remind her of how uncool I am, but love the message and authentically and self-love is cool. Definitely. Big ups to the self-love. I'm big on self-love. Growing and getting to know yourself is so important, especially in adult years, where you might have coming from every different direction of telling you who you are. Knowing oneself is super important and it never ends. Never ends. Every day you grow and you become someone new. And that is why like constantly like getting in tune with yourself is super, 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 super important. Um, let's see, Alexa, this is from Dara. Um, now that you have seen it fully performed, what changes would you like to make? Um, honestly, I don't have that much changes because I thought the way that the actors portrayed this was pretty awesome. Big ups, big ups, yay. All right. Um, <laughs> yes, dare quote a Shakespeare to thine self, own self be true. <laughs> yes, always, always. 
So, um, if any, let's see, do we have any more questions or comments? Um, also, too, if you check the chat, there is a link that Jackie put in for YouTube. If you click on that, you can also see all the cool works that she has. So, yes, 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 that's, that's support. Always, that's big thing. Supporting theater is important. Um, a lot of the times I've had a lot of my teachers say, we say the things that a lot of people are afraid to say. We do the things a lot of people are afraid to do. And we help you to feel the things that you're afraid to feel. So, you know, as actors, we want to be able to be authentic and honest in our portrayal of things so yeah. that if someone is dealing with it, they can know that you're not one out, you're not alone, you know, and also, knowing that giving these words to life really help to grow you as a person, you know? So, and if you also check the chat, we have our links for you to follow TMD on Facebook, to follow TMD on Instagram, and to add our brand new website <laughs> that we just completed. Super excited to launch this website so that everyone can have more information and a more concise way to get to all things TMD. Um, we're, we're still growing as a company and we are five years old this year. So we're super excited for the continued support of everyone. Um, Okay, so the way you can get the recording, again, you can follow us on our social medias, TMD um, slash Facebook.com, TMD on Instagram, and also to um, follow, subscribe to TMDs or Too Much Damn Theater on YouTube. And it will be displayed up there in the next coming days. Um, it will be up there forever. So <laughs> you can definitely go and and um, Dara just put our URL link to our TMD YouTube in the chat. So you can go ahead and follow that and get to be a part of this amazing work and also all the other amazing works that we have put out in the last few years. So um, do we have any more questions or comments? Give a little minute. Just to see. All right, well, I, again, I've been doing this since we started rehearsal, but I'm gonna do it one more time because always admiration. Thank you humans so much for taking your time out, for giving us, you know, your evenings, for just being a part of this production. It has meant the world to me and my awesome cohorts and to Alexa and you know you guys are amazing artists I look forward to seeing your next shows or anything that you have coming up support always and as we say at TMD always be unapologetically you it's important and there's never ever too much theater all right guys Thank you all so much for being here and I hope you enjoy Thank you. the rest of your Saturday. You yeah. guys did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Happy Thank weekend. You. Yes. <laughs> We're just having, we're just having fun, fun, fun. We're just having, we're just having fun, fun, 